Nathan Zagura here at the Cross Country Mortgage Campus in Berea, where the Browns have concluded their second day of joint practices with the Philadelphia Eagles. And to tell you all about it, here we go. It's the two minute drill brought to you by University Hospitals. Again, a back and forth day for the Browns and the Eagles. Two teams absolutely with playoff aspirations, and they will meet this Sunday at 1 o'clock at First Energy Stadium in the second preseason game of this 2022 preseason. But what happened out here today? Let's start with the Browns offense. They worked red zone, situational football, and in the high red zone, Jacoby Brissett was incredibly sharp. He would find Amari Cooper on back-to-back -back plays, one of which was an unbelievable double move to beat the coverage of Darius Slay for a touchdown. So that started off with Brissett to Cooper touchdown, Brissett to Cooper touchdown. He'd also find David Njoku for a pair of scores as these drills went on. Deshaun Watson, he'd find David Bell in the back corner of the end zone for a touchdown, and Nick Chubb would run one in. So it was a very productive red zone period for the Browns offense. Then they would get into an end of game situation. The Browns down eight needing to get a touchdown and a two-point conversion with just about 30 seconds and 25 yards to go. The Browns offense could not get into the end zone, either the first or the second team. But you flip it around to the defensive side of the ball, and the Browns D had a solid day once again against a very good Eagles and talented Eagles offense, led by Jalen Hurts with wide receivers Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown and tight end Dallas Goddard. But then as we move down into that end-of-game situation, we don't know if it would have been a sack from JOK, but nonetheless, Jalen Hurts found Dallas Goddard for a touchdown. So now they needed the two point conversion. Isaac Rochelle, who has flashed all off season for the Browns. He had a sack down in Jacksonville working with the starters. He had a sack of Jalen Hurts, couldn't even throw the ball that preserved the Browns win there in that scenario where they needed the touchdown and the two. It would conclude with some kicking, and Cade York was booming it through once again. His lone miss coming from 55 yards, but hit from 52, and all of his other kicks going five of six on the day. And Jake Elliott, the Pro Bowl kicker of the Eagles, he would make all of his kicks as well. So just a lot of quality football on display, a lot of quality work, and that really was the preseason for a lot of the Brown starters. On Sunday, I think we're going to see more of the second and the third stringers, guys fighting for their NFL lives, fighting for roles on the 2022 Cleveland Browns. Those will be the big stories and we're excited to be able to bring those to you. This really wraps up training camp. Once the Browns play the Eagles on Sunday, they come back to work next week. That's it. It is business as usual as they prepare for the final preseason game against the Bears and then the regular season opener in Carolina against the Carolina Panthers. Browns and Eagles, two great days to join practices. Great work. The big story, no real injuries, no fights. It was clean. Both sides got out of this what they wanted. Some work against different looks, different schemes, and that will help come regular season. Week number one as this team now has that experience of going against a team like the Eagles and vice versa for the Eagles against the Browns. This has been the Two Minute Drill, wrapping up a beautiful 2022 Browns training camp, and it's been brought to you by University Hospitals.